Go back with me in time. See yourself as a little child of five. Hold out your arms and say to this child, I am your future and I have come to love you. Embrace this child lovingly and then bring this child with you to present time. See the two of you standing in front of a mirror looking at each other lovingly. And as you stand there, you become aware that there are so many parts of you that are missing. So once again, let us go back in time to the very moment you were born. You had just come out of the birth canal. It may have been a difficult trip. You feel the cold air and the bright lights. And someone may have just smacked you. You have arrived. You are here to live a whole lifetime. Love that little tiny baby. Love that baby. Now move forward in time to the moment when you began to walk. You would stand up and fall down and stand up and fall down and stand up and fall down and then suddenly you were standing and you took a step and another step and you were walking and you were so proud of yourself. Love that little child. Love that child. Then move forward in time to your first day at school. You didn't want to leave your mother and you knew you had to go and you didn't want to leave your mother. And you went. You took your first steps over the threshold. You were scared, but you did it. You were doing the very best you could. And love that child. Love that child. Then remember your life around the age of 10 and all the stuff that was going on then. It may have been wonderful. It may have been difficult. And you were doing the very best you could to survive. And you made it. So love that child. Just love that child. Then go to the time you were just entering puberty and all that was going on. It was exciting and scary and maybe more than you could handle. But you got through it. You did the best you could and you made it. So love that teenager. Love that teenager. Go to the time of your first job and how exciting it was to earn money. You wanted so badly to make a good impression and there was so much to learn. And you did the best you could. And love that person. Just love that person. Remember the time you were first rejected in love and how much your heart hurt and you wanted to die and then you were afraid you wouldn't and you knew that no one would ever love you again. You were in such pain and you did the best you could 
and you made it. Love that person. Love that person. Then go to another milestone in your life. It may have been embarrassing or painful or wonderful. Whatever it was, you were doing the best you could at that time with the understanding, knowledge and awareness that you had then. So love that person. Love that person. Now gather all the many parts of yourself and bring all of them forward in time to present time. See yourself standing in front of the mirror with all of yourselves and realize that you are looking at the richness and fullness of your life. Of course there were difficult times and painful times and embarrassing times and times of confusion and that's all right. It's part of life. Love all of yourself. Now all of you turn around and as you look ahead, you see a person standing before you with arms outstretched, saying, I am your future and I have come to love you. When it feels right, come back to the room. Life is an endless opportunity to love ourselves, past, present, and in the future. Loving and accepting every part of ourselves is healing. How can we possibly be whole or healed if we are rejecting any parts of ourselves? Healing is to make ourselves whole again. Love yourself, every part of yourself, and be whole. All is well, and so it is.